Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this video and in this video we are actually going to learn how to create our company logo using Canva. Canva is a very uh, useful tool to use for graphic manipulation and I'm sure you will love it after watching this video and you will use it for also uh, not just creating logos, you can also use it for uh, creating social media posts and a lot of different uh, graphical banners that you might have in your website. Now, as you can see, uh, I am now at canva.com and sign up is free. Eh? So you just uh, sign up for canva.com uh, so that you can get started in using canva.com to create your company logo. I'm going to just uh, go on ahead into my login okay and after you log in this is basically what you will see eh? you will see a very big tagline that says design anything which is true okay you can basically design your company logo your banner and also do some image manipulation just by using canva and it doesn't cost money at all now not just that canva will also give you some very useful templates huh? uh, and you can just start you don't have to start from scratch but you can start with a template Right, so right now we're going to create a logo. So what we are going to do is just type in logo. All right, okay. And I will just select logo. Okay, they will actually have a lot of different logos for you to select, okay, as a starter template. Now in my case, I want to start from a blank sheet first, okay. Uh, just start with a blank canvas first. So welcome to the interface okay of uh, canva where you start editing and putting things together for your logo right so what are we looking at here now first of all on the left side you will see a lot of different templates that you can use okay for your logo right and in the center portion here is basically where you change things or add things or change colors right so like I said, okay, there's a lot of fixed templates that you can use. So uh, let me just start off with one very basic one. All right, uh, Bug Game Shack. Okay, let's just use this one. I just need to click once, okay, just click once, and they will automatically load the template inside my canvas already. So immediately I can just uh, click on this, okay, and maybe change the background. Okay, I want something black because black looks cool, okay and maybe the words I want to uh, change it okay so I'm going to just double click uh, just click on the text and just start changing it okay uh, I don't want this extra text so I'm just going to remove it all right and I can just click and move it a little bit to adjust okay to make some adjustment alignment adjustments okay so you can actually change your logo, change any text, change any fonts if you want to. So let's say um, this one looks a bit ordinary, okay? So I can basically select the text, okay? And change it into a different uh, font, okay? So when I click on this one here, the font selection, there are billions of fonts here that you can choose from. And let me just find one that is a little bit more suited, okay? For this particular company logo, huh? So let's see, uh, horizon looks good, okay, All right, okay, so, so the game's hack, okay, <laughs> okay, so again, I can basically change this size as well, so again, I'm going to just click on this one to change the font size, okay, so that I can still keep the actual name, huh? so uh, about 35, I'm going to change it to maybe 20, alright, okay, the game shack, alright. Okay, looks cool, right? Doesn't look too bad, okay? So, of course, uh, just make the changes on your first version of your logo. And it's okay for one logo to just have one graphical element and just two lines or maybe your company name is even simpler, just one word, okay? It's okay, right? So, after you design your first version of the logo, you can basically duplicate this particular design, okay? You can click on copy page, okay and duplicate a copy of this design into the other page all right so this one you can see here it says here page two uh. page two basically means okay i have made a copy of this design and um, i can now based on this design change a few colors 
right now the reason why i'm doing this is because uh sometimes there are people who basically have two versions of the logo so that it actually looks good on a, a black color background uh, it looks good on a white color background as well uh, actually in our industry it's good practice to have two versions of your logo just in case you need to use it on different uh, situations okay so again i'm just going to change this around okay uh, just change it to a white color background and needless to say the text also needs to be changed so I can basically change the color here I just click on the text okay and just click on the color selector the text color here and I can just change it into black color right uh, the logo inside here I can also change it into black color right okay and there you go exactly the same logo but the colors are swapped all right so okay so you've got your standard logo and you've got a lighter version of your logo. Great. Okay. Now there's one more thing that you need to create when you are designing a logo. Right. So there is something called a side icon. So basically a side icon is like a square image. Okay. That appears maybe up here. If you see my screen, there is a little logo here that is the C. This is a Canva side logo. Huh? Now, for your company, especially when you're using the logo for a website, it's probably a good idea to have some sort of branding, okay, in that site icon as well, right? So again, I'm going to duplicate this again. So we're going to just click on copy page again, right? Just click on copy page again. And I'm going to just remove the words and I'm only going to keep the graphical element of the logo, right? Okay. So let's just make sure we delete this, okay? And we will select everything, okay? Just let me delete this extra one, okay? And we select all the logo and we make it fit to the entire canvas. So let's just place it on the top left and we drag, okay? Click and drag until it fills up the entire canvas, right? So there you go, right? So we've got three pages here, okay? This will be your site icon, okay? The page before that, okay, will be your version 2 of your logo. And the first one will be the version 1 of your logo, right? So with these three different logo designs, okay, uh, you are basically now ready, okay, to use it in your website, all right? Especially when you need to upload your logo pictures, okay? Right. So once we've got our logo done, before we conclude the logo part, okay, of course, we need to make sure we download it first. So just click on the download icon, okay? Click on the download icon and you can see PNG, right? Okay, just click on download. Okay, now just wait for a while and it will basically ask you where do you want to save this file. So I'm going to just save it inside here, all right? okay uh, just name it properly okay i always like to name things properly uh, so that i know where it is okay it will come out as a zip file so what happens is after you save it okay after you save it you basically have all three of your images uh, inside that zip file okay so when you want to use it in your website you just unzip the file and all the images is basically in so everyone okay you have seen how canva can be used to create all the graphical designs that your website needs from company logo uh, website banners and all the other things that is for social media uh, it can be done through canva and you do not need photoshop at all so that's money saving for you huh? and until the next video see you hi everyone thanks for watching the video and uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, click on the bell okay uh, so to keep uh, informed of new upcoming videos on the channel until then see you in the next video